Welcome to my channel. I'm Kelly with Life in Phoenix and let's get into it. Obviously, there are several things that people love about the Phoenix, Arizona area. Five of those are going to be things that you need to listen and watch for. Sunny weather is obviously one of the reasons that people move to the Phoenix, Arizona area. They love that you can get up and it's predictable. There's 300 days out of the year where we have sunshine. For people who love outdoor activities, this can be a major draw to the Phoenix area. Despite it being a desert, there are so many different places for outdoor recreation, swimming, biking, golf, and more. Phoenix has a thriving cultural and hiking scene as well. People love to come out to Arizona for trail hikes. They love the job opportunities out here. But what they don't realize are these few things that could really set you back, especially if you're thinking of moving here permanently. Number one, extreme heat. Phoenix is located in the Sonoran Desert. It's known for its hot and dry weather. Summers can be brutal with temperatures exceeding 100 degrees. For some people, this heat can be dangerous. Along with the heat can come some tiny desert creatures. And for those of you who have to work with disclosures, you know what those are. Scorpions, snakes, etc. Mosquitoes are another thing you would think are not here in the Sonoran Desert, but they are. Number two, Phoenix is a sprawling city. Traffic is particularly bad. While this means there are plenty of job opportunities, it's pretty bad. Every morning, if you are gonna be battling traffic to and from your job, it's gonna be a bit of a bear claw. Even during the weekends, we have some congestion on our freeways because we did not know the monstrosity of growth that we would see over the last three or four years. Our traffic is pretty bad and getting worse by the day. I would say that's one of the number one complaints I hear when I'm talking with people who've been in Arizona for more than five years. Number three, the cost of living. If you were here in the early 90s, early 2000s, the cost of living was one of the things that brought a lot of people to the Valley of the Sun. While some of us argue that it is still affordable, others would beg to differ. Of course, compared to other metropolis areas, it is relatively average. To some, housing prices remain stable, while to others, they're downright unaffordable. Gas, groceries, and the cost of living are no longer a thing that brings many people to the Valley of the Sun. Number four is air quality and natural landscape. Phoenix has struggled with air population, especially during the summer months. High temperatures and stagnant air can trap pollutants. All of this can be seen from above. If you're flying in an airplane, you'll see it looks like an umbrella of yellow. This can also be a big concern for people who have respiratory issues. While Phoenix is located in the Sonoran Desert, much of the natural landscape has been developed for housing and urban development. Water conservation is one of the major issues in Phoenix, Arizona as well, and this does impact the natural landscape. While artificial turf has become a popular trend these last few years, if you go up north, you'll find that there are some beautiful places and spaces. But down here in the valley, it can be pretty grim. With all that being said, it can be a little difficult for people who are used to lush green and scenery to really fit in in Phoenix, Arizona, a definite complaint that I hear when showing homes. You can go north to find that natural beauty. That's why I personally love Phoenix, Arizona. Number five, lack of water. The city relies heavily on the Colorado River for its water supply, which is already over allocated. Arizona is definitely known for its water scarcity. In fact, we have quite a few different places in the Phoenix area that have private water. With all this being said, there are many reasons that you should still consider moving to the Phoenix area, but these are definitely ones to reconsider. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe below. I'll be bringing you more about life in Phoenix.